So in this study, we looked at patients who with CML who are on tyrosine kinase inhibitors, which is a standard treatment for CML, who have minimal residual disease. The idea in this abstract is that now we have data that many patients with CML who uh, achieve very good control with TKIs can discontinue the TKI treatment after some time. This is important because lifelong therapy with TKIs is still the standard of care, but it comes with reducing quality of life side effects cause to many patients. Um, studies have identified that some patients can discontinue, but it's a very small percentage overall. So there have been several efforts to increase the percentage of patients who can discontinue. So the preclinical rationale of, of this work basically was based on preclinical data that suggested that increased uh, PD-L1 and PD-1 expression in CML could mediate some of the persistence of the minimal residual disease. So what we did is we added pimprolizumab, which is an anti-PD-1 antibody uh, to the TKI with the goal of trying to get patients to be in deep remission, undetectable disease, and then discontinue. So this is an ongoing phase two trial within the ECOG network in the U.S. Many centers have this trial open. We have reported in this meeting the safety cohort, the first six patients who were enrolled on the study, and the idea was to prove that there was not increased uh, uh, incidence of excessive toxicity, and this is actually what we observed. The combination was very well tolerated. We did not see um, significant occurrence of adverse events. There were no immune-related adverse events. There was only one grade three uh, uh, asymptomatic increase in uh, amylase and lipase that resolved with stopping therapy uh, temporarily, and then the therapy was uh, resumed. So I, the data suggests that this therapy is uh, tolerable, and we are currently uh, adding more patients to the study and hoping to report on efficacy and TKI discontinuation over the next uh, one to two years.